So I am Alex Petition. I'll be your, your host and moderator here today, uh, co-founder CEO here at Sales Boomerang. With me, I have an amazing group. Uh, first, let me introduce Owen Lee, who is the CEO of Success Mortgage Partners. Say hello, Owen. How's it going, everybody? Great, great seeing you. Great talking to you, Owen. I uh, can't wait to hear your, your insights. Uh, and with you, we have uh, Brett Miller, who's the director of marketing, who I just got to spend some time with recently out in Arizona. We got to hang out and we made plans to catch up in Philadelphia. So we're, we're still on for that. Say hello, yeah. Brett. Hey, how are you doing? Thank you for uh, inviting me today. Absolutely. And this person probably needs no introduction, but we will still introduce him just so we can make him blush. Uh, <laughs> we got Dale Vermillion, who's the CEO of Mortgage Champions. Uh, how are you doing, uh, Dale? Alex, always great to be with you and great to be with dear friends like Owen Lee and Brett and uh, really excited about today. Fantastic. Let's rock and roll. Slide. All right. So this first uh, part, we're going to hand off to Owen. Owen, why don't you share a little bit about your company and your successes? Oh, uh, thank you. Um, so we're uh, Success Mortgage Partners. We're about uh, 18 years old. We started in 2002. We're in Michigan. I, I am uh, not in the gorgeous mountains of North Carolina. I'm in the beautiful suburbs of Detroit, a uh, place called Livonia. <laughs> And uh, we started in Michigan and, uh, and moved, to, you know, branched out into Florida and then just started adding states. We're in about 34 states right now. Um, we'll do uh, just a hair over $3 billion this year. And uh, we have about 200 loan officers. Um, we do mostly distributed retail, um, a little bit of consumer direct. And uh, so distributed retail is, is how we define basically loan officers who wake up every morning and whose job it is to go out and drag a loan in the door that they didn't have when the day started. So for those <laughs> folks, um, that's one of the reasons why I'm on the, uh, the, the call today is you will see that Sales Boomerang is right up that alley. So we're in, in 34 states, we'll probably be in 40 states in about six months. and. Uh, Thankful to have the opportunity to work in this industry every day. Absolutely love that. Uh, thank you for that uh, slide. We have a voice activated system here, guys. Everybody likes to click buttons. We just use our voice and things change. It's, it's a brand new technology. <laughs> we'll have to introduce everybody to it later, right, Dale? <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, called, it's called the Richard AI. Um, <laughs> so... Listen, uh, just a quick quick notice to, as to what we're going to be covering today and why, why we're all on here today. What are you all missing out on? So the, the audience that is all lenders, uh, mortgage lenders, so banks, credit unions, uh, what are you all missing out on? So first of all, in, in, a, in a consumer's life in the United States, a consumer will have about 11 mortgage-related transactions, right? And it's, of course, in everyone's best interest to be there for all 11 of them, hopefully being the one that's doing it for them. Uh, this is very important, too, uh, and, and, and why we, we are in business uh, as an organization and why we are also grateful to be in this industry is that 92% of consumers will go with the first or second lender they speak with. Here at Sales Boomerang, we're the best in the world at making you first. And of course, if nothing else, we'll make sure you're second, right? And, and then this is the sad number we want to flip the script on. The fact that only 18% of consumers want to go back to an existing lender that they're working with is just a clear sign that there's room for improvement, room for growth, right? When the insurance industry is at nearly 80% and the mortgage industry is at 18%, we can do better. And that's why we're here. So let's keep moving forward. Uh, this is, again, this is key and, and sort of echoing Owen's uh, messages. We're so grateful to be in this industry. We are so grateful to be working with lenders in this industry because in the first four years of our existence, we've shown uh, organizations like Success Mortgage Partners, which actually is above this ROI, that you can turn your database into not just an ROI driver, not just a revenue driver, not just a, a, um, a, a way to, to build relationships, but it can be a huge profit center, right? 24X ROI is the average return on investment for every dollar invested in sales boomerang, $24 comes back to you. Um, you are going to see very quickly if you're not using sales boomerang, if you choose to turn, and you're going to hear some of this uh, from Owen and Brett today and Dale and myself, of course, the lift you get within the first 12 months is typically around 20 to 40%. 
And of course, one of our favorite and most important valuable statistics is uh, sub $300 cost of acquisition. We know today the cost of acquisition is going way up. Dale will be talking about some of that as well. Um, it's, it's going way up in the, in the 1500s to 2000 range to acquire a new uh, marketing cost, right? And, and here, why with wrapping your database with borrower intelligence, you can keep it below 300, which is very important when market margin compression happens. This is the, this is the, the anti-margin margin compression system. So a, a great way to keep uh, sustaining your growth and profits. Uh, slide, excellent. So what is all of the what are all of the different things that you can have access to regarding your database, right? There's a lot of events. This is really interesting. I want everyone to focus on something. And if you're going to take away a few things, this is the one thing I would take some notes on right now and write this down or email it to yourself or Slack it to yourself, whatever you need to do. Look at the stat, 11.42. That is a monthly number of how many opportunities are in your database every single month, the potential for 11.42% of your entire database to have a mortgage event every month means that there's more than 100% of your database could have a mortgage related event every single year. It's very important to understand that. I'll highlight just a couple of things and we'll move on to the next slide, right? Sales Boomerang is designed to be an, an offense and defense type of system. Defense is things like mortgage inquiry, which is producing almost a 2% uh, alert rate per month right now. Uh, the other defensive alert is listings, meaning these people have already decided to take action. They decided to go back into the mortgage market and they are going to take an action. It is up to you now to prevent them from leaving you. It's a defense, but it's very important. But in mortgage, in business, you should be playing a lot more offense than defense, right? And so the rest of the opportunities that Sales Boomerang provides are all offense-based. So uh, I'll, I'll point out a couple and again, we'll move on. Things like a loan scenario. Imagine having access to your database and the database tells you, hey, lender, you have 18 people today who are qualified for a cash out with you. You have 33 qualified for a rate and term. So just understand, these are all offensive notifications. That means you are getting to them before they get to the market. And remember what we said, 92% of consumers make a decision with the first or second uh, lender that they speak to. The real, the, the first is 79%. So the 79% of consumers go with the first lender. That is what we're the best at. So just remember that as we're moving forward. Let's go to the next slide. All right. So this is one of my favorite slides. Okay. This is a month in the life. Very important to understand. A lot of people say, what happens when we turn on an intelligence engine like Sales Boomerang? What, what should we expect? A lot of people are like, oh, you know, like most systems, it's going to take, you know, this many, the, uh, this many months or this many weeks or, or, or half a year before you really get to feel the impact. Not with this system. Day one, literally day one. This is an organization uh, from uh, that, that this, I believe, September numbers. In September, okay, the first day of September, right? The very first day, 111 opportunities for over $25 million in volume. The first day that this went live, right? Week one, over 1,100 opportunities for over $267 million in potential loan volume. And Month one, this is just month one. This is what's happening in your database today. This is what's happening. 6,800 opportunities for over $1.5 billion in mortgage uh, opportunities here. So it is very important to understand it's the day one. It starts to happen and it never stops. It only gets better and better and better. Um, next slide. All right. So this, Dale, I'd love to start this conversation with you and, and, and hand this off to you um, because you are such a big believer in this and, and you and I are so aligned. And I, I know why, why we're asking this question because I know Success Mortgage Partners align with this too. So Dale, for you, and then you'll, you'll bring this to the rest of the group. What is servant leadership? Well, Alex, I appreciate you uh, leading in with that. And I want to say that I'm honored to be here um, with such great servant leaders. And, and, and when I was asked to do this, you know, I've known Owen Lee for a long time and his father, Vince, who started Success Mortgage Partners. And let me tell you, you're not going to find two guys that are more exemplary when it comes to servant leadership than those two guys right there. There's no question mm -hmm. about it. They, they have a visionary company, even the fact of how they named their company Success Mortgage Partners, their focus in every meeting I've ever had with them has always been the same, to make their employees as successful as they can possibly be by making their employees customers as successful as they can possibly be. And when you put that combination together into servant leadership, 
it really works. So let me give you a quote that, that I think, you know, I was thinking about my, my relationship with Owen for all these years and, and what quote I thought really matched up to him. And, and it's this, it's from John Quincy Adams. He says, if your actions inspire others to dream more, to learn more, to do more and to become more, you're a leader. Well, that's what servant leadership is. It's where we as leaders are, are really putting our employees before ourselves. We as leaders are really trying to inspire and motivate and most importantly, create vision. That's what leaders are supposed to do. And, and, and I, you know, I, as you know, Alex, I train leaders and managers all over the country. And one of the most common quotes that I make when I start a leadership session is, you know what? There, there is a difference between management and leadership and there shouldn't be. If you're a manager, you ought to be a leader, not just a manager. Managers just manage processes and people. Leaders cast vision and create inspiration. When you combine those four things together, now you're actually a servant leader. And, and here's, the, here's the key to servant leadership. It's always about making sure the people around you are successful. That's how you move up in any organization. It is not by trying to be successful in your own right, but instead being interested in the success of the people around you. And when you do that, you lift it up. And, and I've watched... In the four or five years that Owen and I worked together, I've watched them go from a half a billion dollars in production to over $3 billion production like a rocket ship <laughs> because mm -hmm. they really do lead well and they really are visionary in that. So from my vantage point, these guys are the definition of servant leadership. And I'm sure that Owen could share some, some great impartation on that. Love to hear it, Owen. What's your thoughts on servant leadership? Well, I, I just think that... Uh, you know, it's about, and, and thank you. I don't know uh, how good the color is on my, uh, my $90 <laughs> webcam or $29 webcam, but I was blushing uh, pretty hard when, when Dale was, that's very kind, Dale. Thank you. Um, to me, it's just about coming to work every single day, working hard to put others around you in a position to succeed. And if I can do that and, and I can be a little bit better tomorrow than I was yesterday and, and give people more resources or give them more opportunity or participate in some positive way in their success, then I will be successful too. It's, it's Zig Ziglar 101, right? Zig Ziglar is an older guy now, and I'm embarrassed to say I'm not even sure if he's still alive. Um, but uh you know, I saw him speak once when I was very young in my career, and uh, he said something that I'll never forget. He said, if you, if you, you may have, you may have anything you want in your life, as long as you help enough other people get what they want first. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's really just bringing that mentality to the office every day. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. That's, 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 that's beautiful. And that's why he's impacted so many people and, 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 and obviously impacted the way you run business to answer your question, by the way, he did pass away in 2012. Um, so, oh, geez. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Hey, hey but this is good. This well, is we've all done that, wondering. right? We've thought about someone and we've Googled yeah. them is so-and-so alive. And, you know, sometimes really? they're happy to find out they're alive and sometimes <laughs> it goes the other way. Hey, he was born in 1926. He lived a good life. He did. Um, yeah. He did. So let's um, let's next slide. Let's let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. So um, let's throw it to you, Owen and, and and Brett. Jump in at any time. How, how do you support your mortgage advisors? Brett Brett is way more knowledgeable than I am in this. So I'm just going to say this one thing, and then I'm going to to shoot it over to him. Um, it's our job, our loan officers wake up every day and go out and try and find a loan. And if we can help them through technology, find more opportunities, that is a huge benefit to them and to us. So that's one of our biggest focuses, or our focuses over the last 24 months. So Brett, I'm gonna let you take it from there. All right, I, um, I get the opportunity to interact with uh, mortgage advisors quite often. And the number one thing I always tell them is you're my customer. My team mm. is here for one reason, to support you. Um, your customers are your customers. We're going to do everything we can to help you with them. But our number one customer every day is the mortgage advisors that we, re that we represent here at Success Mortgage. That is who we want to help. And the number one way we support them is we listen. We talk and we listen. We ask questions and we listen. 
what what do they feel they need to move the move the the ball for them and then we provide was probably the number one tech stack that, I, that I've worked with in a long time um, to them to help them gain and retain customers. Um, of course, you know, sales boomerang is, is probably one of the, the, the key elements, the reta- retention of customers. But honestly, like we listen, what, what do you need? And here, here's what we can offer you. And this is how you can use it. We give them the, the menu and we let them say, this is what they're comfortable with. I mean, not every mortgage advisor wants the full tech stack every day in and out working for their behalf. Some of them are old school. They want to do, you know, more personal things. That's great. But we're going to give you everything. And then you decide, you pair back what you don't want. Um, And that's the number one thing is listening to them and letting them tell us what they need, when they need it, but also to be ready when that, when those requests come in and already have something in our back pocket for them. So, so let me ask you this, Brett, you, you have one of the best tech stacks in the industry. We have the Lego tech stack, something you, you've, you've preached about. Lego often. tech. I love it. I love it. It's awesome. Yeah. Yes. Lego tech is very important for everyone listening. What Lego tech is, uh, if anyone's ever played with Legos, you know that any set you buy, doesn't matter what, which set you buy, every Lego will fit together. The, the goal of Lego tech, thinking about your technology like Legos, don't implement a technology that doesn't work with another technology you already have because you're not supporting your investment. You're actually siloing it. And then you're going to lose adoption, use, it's just going to be a loss. So you want to look at technology like, like Legos. So to that point, Brett, let's talk about that for a second, because how do you support your mortgage advisors? Yes, you listen. It's very important. Yes, you bring in the, the best coach in the, in the industry for mortgage advisors with Dale Vermillion. You, um, but, but why? Like, like what's, what's driving that? And I got a better question to follow that up. What's driving that, number one? And are you seeing your team? appreciate this meaning are they getting are they behind the scenes talking to other mortgage advisors in your company and saying hey brett and owen did this for us like implement this program are you getting uh, what i would call you know in, in inside fans that are promoting your ideas your beliefs over to new people that are joining the company talk to me a little bit about that uh, absolutely i mean from the inside fan thing absolutely it's amazing um you do something nice for one for you know not nice but you it basically it's our job, but you know, you do something for one cause they ask. And then suddenly it's, you know, by the end of the week, you get one or two more emails saying, Hey, do we have X, Y, Z available? Can, can I, can I get this? Can I get that? Absolutely. Um, hmm. I mean, we have it turned on day one. We do um, day one with a, a mortgage advisor. We present everything to them. Um, and a lot of them, you know, during the interview process, we present everything to them. And then day one, we start showing them how to use everything. Um, some of them may feel like it's drinking from a fire hose at times because there is a lot, but we break it down very easily and we grow with them. Um, but we show them, this is what we have. This is how to use it. Um, training's big. Um, if they don't know how to use the technology, it's a waste. Um, yes. you know, that's, yes. that, everyone knows that if you don't use technology that just sits there unused is a waste of money, not only for Owen and the company, but also for my team to support it. I mean, we can build a hundred things, but if no one ever wants to use it. You know, what good is it? Um, I, I love that. So we have to train, we have to teach, but we have, and then we say, all right, what, what are your thoughts? What do you want? What are you used to from somewhere else that you've been? What, what did you feel, you know, move the ball for you at your last organization or, or even you've heard someone else doing, let's discuss that and let's see how we can do the S and P version of that for you um, to promote you. Cause if, I mean, Owen's got a great line, you know, great plan that, that isn't put into action is worthless. But a good plan that is put into action, and oh, and I may have botched that, so I apologize, uh, <laughs> is gold. And it's true. You know, if, if yeah. a mortgage advisor is not going to do it, then why do it? Why, why even have my team do it? But yes. if they're going to do it, if they're going to act on it, if they're going to be champions of it, then let's do it. Because that's going to make them happy. And if they believe in it and trust in it, guess what? They're going to use it more. And then their peers are going to hear about it. I mean, when you, we have a, a, a big sales conference coming up soon and I cannot wait for the aftermath of that. When some people hear, you know, they actually get a chance to be face to face for the first time in a while. And they're hearing, mm-hmm. Oh, wait, I've been doing this. I've got, you know, my numbers went up this year because uh, I did, I used this technology or I did this or I did that we're going to be inundated and I cannot wait. I'm literally like chomping at the bit waiting for this because I want the fire hose get turned on and every mortgage advisor we have being like, I want it all, give it to me now. Um, and I'm excited for that because we can support them. Um, Owen has built us and has let 
you know, me interact with a, a great team. I mean, I have probably the best marketing team I've ever worked with in my life surrounding me. And the things they do just amaze me on a daily basis. And they're the reason why we're marketing is being so successful. And hopefully that helps drive success to be more successful as well. Yeah. You know, I, for I those that. For those of you that want to write this down, I'll just say this, that the two things that uh, Brett was talking about is some things I often say at the office, um, which is number one, don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. A lot of people plan so much, um, you know, they never actually do something. They're just like, yep. I, I used to have a friend who called it fixing to get ready. Um, you know, to, to do something and, and uh, getting ready to get ready. <laughs> yeah. Fixing to get ready to go out there and do it. But, uh, you know, I just have a belief system that a good plan fully implemented beats a perfect plan. Never implemented every time. Sometimes that. there's just no, there, you know, there's, there's no substitute for jumping in the pool and doing it. Yes. I love that. And oh, and that's a perfect segue uh, to the next next slide, um, I, this is this is like so so Dale. I'm going to hand this off to you. Explain to people what okay. this triangle means and how they can utilize it. So one of the things that I've always uh, stressed in my career, and, and I think I've I've been known for as a speaker and trainer, is as I believe very much in being very strategic. You know, great attitude is a great thing, but a great attitude with no strategies get you nowhere. <laughs> and it's amazing to me over all the years that I've done this, that we really boiled success down to three key components when it comes to your sales organization or even your overall organization. And that's value relationship and differentiation. Let me just talk about this for a minute because SMP does this just incredibly well in all categories. Now, the value piece of this is creating value for your end consumers that is beyond um, what they normally see when they're in a mortgage transaction. It, it's making sure that you're bringing them the wow factor in everything that you do. And SMP does this incredibly well because they have a local presence. They work with local realtors. They work with their local customers. They work with their local referral sources. Um, and, and they also combine that with all the technologies out there that you have to have. So it starts with value. You've got to build a value mindset within your business and you got to build a value mindset within your sales approach so that when you're talking to your customers you're not talking about the same mortgage that everybody else is talking to them about because that creates a commodity mindset instead of a value mindset and when a commodity mm. mindset comes into play it becomes all about price when a value mindset comes into play it becomes all about benefit and that's that's the first thing that smp is really great at doing second is relationship and you know you you put a key stat up earlier that 18 percent stat that you said we want to flip the switch on well let me tell you how you flip the switch it's relationship. The number one thing that is void in today's mortgage arena, and this is where I, I just love how SMP does this both with their referral partners and with their customers and even internally with their own teammates and their colleagues, is they focus heavily on, on merging relationship with technologies so that the two together create what you need to succeed, which is a high-tech, high-touch approach taking that old school methodology and combine it with a new school thought process. When you put those two together, that's the winning formula today. So if you want to change that 18%, that's the only way you're going to do it. And that leads to the third piece and that's differentiation. And, you know, I, I've said this, it was interesting, Owen, you weren't on some of the pre-calls that we had, but they asked me the question, all right, what is one thing that if you were to say the one thing that you see saw about Owen from the start that was different from other executives you work with, and I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of them across the nation, I said this, I said, Owen lives with an investment mindset. He, he's, he's a great leader because he's not afraid to invest in his people. He doesn't try to find the cheapest way. He'll go out and get the very best tools and the very best technologies and the very best programs to make them successful. And then he layers that with that corporate culture they have of innovation and collaboration combined. So that what happens is you've got a team now, and the beauty of, of merging SMP with Sales Boomerang is mm -hmm. SMP is a very proactive, innovative, and collaborative company. What Sales Boomerang brings in is the predictive side of that. So you merge predictive with proactive, you can't help but win. So yes. the formula for sex is really, success is really simple. It's making sure you're combining that value prop, which these guys do better than anybody, with that relationship, which is really the missing piece in today's marketplace, it, it, it is the secret sauce 
take those two things and create differentiation through your technologies where you're not waiting for the customers to contact you. You're not missing those opportunities. You're going out and get them and you got the perfect formula. And you know what? Hats off to Owen because he has invested heavily in his team and his people to build a great organization where they can all succeed at. And that's been their secret formula of success that has really made them a driver in the industry. And I'm proud and honored to be a partner with because I, I learn stuff from these guys every day. You know, don't, don't think for a minute the over million teach them anything. I think I learn as much or more from them as, as hopefully they learn from me at the end of the day. Yeah, and, and, and look, this is so cool, Dale. And I think I, want, I just want to point this out for everyone that's listening. Look at the triangle. Look at the foundation of the triangle. Okay. Differentiation isn't down there value is there the relationship and differentiation is built on the foundation of value so you got to right. offer value there are way too many people out there spamming their customers spamming the country without offering any value I'll, I'll go even further there are way too many of you spamming your own team without adding any value to your team this is something you can really take away from this conversation with brett and owen and dale is that value first Build your your foundations and build on top of value. Always offer value. Another great book that we can quote here or or bring bring up is uh, uh, from Bob Berg, The Go Giver. Right uh, in there, and I'll share this. This is one of the most incredible uh, lessons I've learned in my life, and 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 truly guides me in, in everything I do. In in that book, there's a chapter where he says, and I'd love anyone to comment that knows this book and knows what I'm about to quote. Um, he says, "Your true value is measured in how many people you serve." and how well you serve them. How many yep. people you serve and how well you serve them. That's what your true value is. That's what you guys live. And, and, and your growth is success. And people may be like, oh, it's because of 2020. No, you are on this trajectory anyway. Nope. Like you were doing this. That just helped put a little bit more rocket fuel in your rocket. But you were heading to the moon no matter what because of your process, because of your investment. And so this is a great time. Uh, um, slide to the next slide for a second. Brett, this one's for you, okay? When you joined uh, Success Mortgage Partners, okay, you have this. You you came into a place that was already investing in technology, investing in their people. But when you got here, and this is by the way in the case study that is going to be released, I believe soon um, or right after this might be going live with it. Uh, it. It's in there. The details are in there. But just share with everyone here. When you first joined, what did you learn about uh, you know from your mortgage advisors when they spoke about sales boomerang? Most of them didn't really understand what it was, um, I, and I, I laugh like they we would get the ones oh it's it doesn't work right because I get these mortgage inquiry alerts from one of my you know someone I've already got you know that I'm working with um, so it must be broken <laughs> I'm like you know they're actually shopping you no 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 my client no no my clients would never shop they are um, most of them didn't know what they had. Wait, that um, would never happen. Right? I know, no. <laughs> clients, ne clients never shop for a better rate, a better this, a better that. No, never. Um, but it's true. Um, that, that's always like the number one thing you hear, like right away with sales boomerangs. It, it's broken, okay? <laughs> and I kind of know why they're going to say this. And I tell them and they're, they think uh, you know, I'm a fool and I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's true. Um, honestly, I kind of felt like when I got here, Owen gave me the keys to a race car. And I was so excited and I went out and I looked at it. It had three flat tires and was running on the cheapest gas ever. Um, and he's like, you know, get around the lap, you know, make a couple laps for me. We're going to get around. It's just not well. Um, my team has done an amazing job as a pit crew getting, you know, four brand new tires on that and, and filling it up with the best gas ever. And we are running it. Um, we're running it. We're running it hard. Um, and, and we're winning at it. We, we really are. It's just, you know, statistics that we're looking at right now, we know we're winning. Um, so the number one thing is the mortgage advisors didn't know what to do with what they had. Um, it's like the car that chased the dog and caught it or a dog that chased the car and caught it. Didn't know what to do once yep. they caught it. Um, it ha they had everything, <laughs> but they didn't have the recipe or the directions of how to use it correctly. Um, and that was the number one thing that, you know, we, we went right back to the basics. All right, we have to train you on what to do. You just have yes. to pick up a phone and make an intelligent phone call. It's not going through your Rolodex and just calling Jane and, you know, John and Jane Doe because they're a past client. No, you're calling them because they have equity. They have a, a mortgage inquiry. They have a listing alert. And you can make an intelligent conversation with them. And because we roll this into our, our CRM total expert, 
they're even more intelligent on that phone call. Look, you know, we have some loan officers that are doing 250 plus loans a year. Unfortunately, they cannot remember every person just by name. And there's some people that have the same name. But once they look in, in our CRM and they see a little detail about that person, they're like, I remember that person. Here's the details. of it's, It blows me away when they see that and they can tell me every aspect of the loan by like three or four key points on, on their focus view. And, and they know instantly and they can make a phone call to a friend, to a past client who they yes. have the relationship with. It's not a blind cold call. They're not dialing for dollars here. They're calling people and making an intellectual um, conversation with them, making making a really good call to them. And it's, they're pre -qual I mean, their clients are pre-qualified. They know exactly why they're fitting into each category. It's absolutely mind-blowing. It's amazing. Um, I had one, I just talked to the other day. He, he got three loans out of uh, sales boomerang last month, uh, just just under 900,000 for the combined value of the three. Wow. wow. Where that's he's at, that's actually really good um, for his part of the country. He's like, I've never had easier calls in my life. Literally called him up, re, you know, said my name and they're like, hey, how you doing? It was like talking to an old, old friend again. And he said, they asked me how to apply for their a new mortgage. He's like, I didn't <laughs> do anything. He's like, I can't believe it. And look, it's life changing for those three clients. It's life changing for that mortgage advisor. Um, and I said, you know, what what are your thoughts? I go, that's three in one month. Let's extrapolate that out, out of twelve. I said, what are your thoughts? He's like, my wife's a happy woman right now. I'm like, absolutely. <laughs> but it's not only him and his wife who we've made a change for. It's those three families or those three people that we made a change for as well. And that's why I love this industry. It's like we're literally on the bottom rung of Maslow's triangle. You know, we're shelter, we're the base and we're helping people. We're, you know, Dale said the relationship, you know, our mortgage advisors are in the communities that they're working in. They, they go to the grocery store, they're going to see their clients and their customers. Um, and they take care of them because of that. They know they're going to see these people face to face and either that's how they originally got them or not, but th they're working with them on it. You know, they see them, they're, they're around them and they're growing their communities, you know, and making them stronger. And that's, it's just awesome to be part of this whole whole process, but that's a so, long-winded so, answer for you. No, no, no. This is fantastic. So what you're saying is you get there, you have a vehicle, it's it's ready to go. The tires aren't pumped up. Not everything is, is operating the best it can on this vehicle. And and you have your, your team telling you that the, they're a little confused. You go in, you tune it up. Now everyone's loving it. Now let's go to the next slide because this is what everyone is going to care about here, Brett. This is so important. Everyone on this call, knows that they have to invest in technology. By the way, comment, yes, no, smiley faces if you agree with that. But once you've invested into this tech stack, how do you increase adoption? Like this is the, this is the secret that everyone wants access to. How did you get so many people to use the system so quickly? Trial and error. I mean, I, I came from a background of this, so it wasn't anything that new. But um, number one thing is, is beg and pray to get someone to believe in you. <laughs> uh, let, let's be honest, mortgage advisors, they, they know what works. This is their paycheck. They don't like to mess with things. I said, look, it's not going to hurt you. It can only help you. Give, give me an opportunity. And, and Owen, Owen and a partner, uh, Kevin at SMP, you know, teed me up, gave me an opportunity to talk to some of the influencers and said, go ahead, sell yourself. And I did. Um, and they're blown away by it. They're, they're just blown away. Number one thing is just show them. Show that it works. Say, hey, look, this is not going to hurt you. Let me turn it on for you. This is what we're going to do. We're going to do a lot, a lot of stuff in the background. The number one thing I ask you to do is for every alert that comes in, pick up the phone and make an intelligent phone call to them. That's what your your job is. If you can and, do uh, that, you can do everything else. Hey, Alex, can I can I add something to that? Yes, please. I, I would just say this too. Um, it is, you, you can't give up when you're trying to increase mortgage advisor adoption. These yes. guys and, and, and ladies are professional people. They're licensed. They've been busier than they've ever been for the last 20 months. They've ate, slept, drank, you know, gone to their kids' little league game and, you know, done business on this thing every time their kid's not about to touch the ball or kick the soccer ball or shoot the hockey puck. Or, so these people have been working nonstop for 20 to 21 months, they don't always have the ability to stop what they're doing, pick up their heads and learn something new. And we have the opportunity, Alex, I've been lucky enough to see you at a couple of events the last uh, uh, six weeks where we yes. can talk about it, we can look at it, 
without that daily pressure of, oh, it's the 23rd of the month and I'm trying to get eight more loans to the closing table. So we have to make sure that um, we, we, we have patience and persistence when we do this. I, I talk about polite persistence. You know, we got to keep poking at them and we cannot get um, disgruntled or, or, you know, th this is the long game. Technology is not going away. You have to figure yes. out how to adopt it or you're going to be left by the side of the road. And it'd be so easy to look at your production numbers over the last 24 months, pat yourself on the back and congratulate yourself on being a captain of industry. And that's wonderful. But if you look at the projections for next year, you know, the wheels might fall off and, and this, this market can humble you at any moment. So you have to keep pushing on this string because the people that adopt this um, will do well. The people that don't, it's going to be harder and harder for those folks to earn a living in every succeeding year. So just have some patience, have some polite persistence, have some self-awareness about how hard everybody's been working for the last 20, 22 months, you know, whatever the hell it is, since we all learned what, what COVID was. Um, you know, and, and keep pushing on that string. I want to, I want to comment here too, Owen, you're making a great point. I think this is for where we are in this conversation, a couple of things that we're going to be covering here shortly. I think it's important to sort of unpack what you just said. The industry is changing. Okay. And look, guys, I, obviously everyone listening, I, I, I love my, my company. I'm here representing it. So you're going to hear me say some very positive things, but you know what I love more? I love to give you all more success. Honestly, that 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 gives me more pleasure than than knowing Sales Boomerang is doing well because I know you're doing well and we're connected. We're aligned, right? We're connected that way for mutual success. And so, what I'm about to say is very important. Owen just mentioned that things are going to change here in, in a near future, and it's not to scare you. It's to give you a chance to prepare. That's all this is, right? When you see a hurricane warning, it isn't to scare you. It's to give you time to prepare, to take care of your home, take care of what you need to take care of so that you're not sitting out there going, I, who knew this was coming, right? Uh, my house floated away and I was in it. Like, no, you need, to, you need to be prepared for this. So here's a trend we've been seeing. Everyone that's been on the Sales Boomerang platform, understanding that the easiest conversations, as Brett just mentioned, his team telling him, the easiest conversations are those people from a database that you have had some contact with that have trusted you once. What we're seeing and it's happening in, in significant numbers. All of our existing lenders are putting way more of their records into the system, knowing what's about to come. They're waiting for the storm. If the storm doesn't come, great, who cares? Everyone's winning even more. But if it does come, they're not looking out the window going, I didn't know this was coming. I don't know why we're in the middle of the ocean floating now. They know it's coming. So get yourself ready to have relationships with those people that have trusted you once before because they're gonna be harder to find and you need to be in front of them before your competitors are. Nothing wrong with, with, with having competition, but they deserve to hear from you. That's what I'm trying to say. They deserve to hear from you. They trusted you once. They deserve to hear from you when they need you again. So I'm only g giving this emphasis because Owen just mentioned things could change. And if they do, what happens next? The people that trust you the most are the people that have worked with you before, seen you before, even and if you didn't do a loan for them, you've, you've spoken to them, you understand their, their, where they are. They were a referral that maybe the house fell through because there's so many you know, people bidding on homes these days. They still need you, right? They walked into your store. They're your customer. I'll say this and then we'll move on to the next, next slide here in just a moment. We may actually skip over a couple of slides. Um, I'll explain to you what I mean by your customer. When you walk into Target and you're standing in an aisle and you can't understand what you're looking at, when you hear the PA announcement say, a customer in aisle five needs your help. This customer hasn't spent a dime yet, but you know what they said, customer. They didn't say some stranger in aisle five needs somebody's help. They said, customer needs your help. Anyone that's ever walked into your store, that's a phone call, email, whatever it is, they are a customer. They just haven't purchased something from you yet. You should treat them that way. Very important lesson. All right, let's move. Uh, Owen, thanks for setting that up. Um, so how important is, uh, was uh, the CRM integration? So we're gonna, let's go through this quick because we have a few more slides to go through, but how important, and, and I can only imagine your, your, your answer here, but Brett, how important is, is automation and integration? I think it's when the, when the you know, no offense, 
Um, Sales boomerangs awesome. You know, the emails we get out of there every day are, are amazing. Um, many of our mortgage advisors love it, but when you integrate it with your CRM and you're doing things on there, look, people need to take days off. Yes. Uh, we've, we've all had a crazy past 18, 24 months of our lives, uh, mortgage advisors, especially, um, they need to take days off. You know, they're not working 24, seven, seven days a week, week. Um, however, when it works on their behalf behind the scenes, mm. they get phone calls from their, their customers saying, Hey, I, I, I received this. I'm interested how to, or text messages back. Hey, I'm interested. Let's, you know, show me what you got. And they're like, well, what is this? It's like, oh, this is this is automation. <laughs> this is what we did on your behalf. Please don't. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, like we. <laughs> yes. But, but the CRM is is you know I, I've worked with Total Expert for a couple of years now. Um, I've worked with Sales Boomerang for a couple of years now, and and it's part of that Lego mentality. It fits yes. together. It gives them the information. It works on their behalf before sometimes they even realize it's working on their behalf. Um, and the more we can automate for them and pick up that low hanging fruit for them and make their, their jobs easier. So they have more time to spend with the clients who are maybe not the traditional quick, easy mortgages that everyone you know dreams about. Um, and they can do a little more, maybe for that first time home buyer who, who's you know strapped financially or, or credit challenge, but they can find something that works for them because we've already taken care of, you know, their bread and butter for the month. That's what we're, that's what we need to do. That's why we're part of the team. We're a team here. We can do something great. Let's do it for them. Make make their rules easier, um, make, make their lives easier. Um, that's why CRM integration is so important. I mean, it's it's it with that one that cannot work well without the other. You need both. So so look, this is so key. Okay, it's it, it's creating the opportunity for your uh, advisors to have more. I'm going to call it belly to belly conversations. Yep. Because they wouldn't be able to discover this on their own. They don't always have the time. They could be in closing. The alert comes. They can't do it all manually. So you automate the process to create more personalized conversations. That person that does 250 loans a year just doesn't have time to check in with everyone consistently with value. Remember, foundation is value. So um, let's uh, let's slide forward. We're going to slide to the to the. I want everyone to see the, the and hear the conversation about hot donuts. So let's slide a few slides forward. I, I love this. I love this analogy. Um, our, our, our voice activated slider isn't working. Um, slide forward, <laughs> please. <laughs> what, one more. Keep going. I, I thought that one only more. happened to me, Alex. There yeah. you go. Right All there. Right. No, apparently it's, it's a new AI system. We're working on it. Um, <laughs> it's in beta right now. It's in beta. It's okay. <laughs> it's in beta. That's exactly right. Alpha maybe. Um, so, Brett, I love this. I wanted to skip over the slide because I love how you put this. It's in the, it's in the case study, which I see a lot of people are downloading, by the way, guys. Uh, keep downloading them. Hot donuts. What in the world do you mean by hot donuts? Please. I want, and, right. and, and, and people are going to steal this. I know it. But this I, is so I, cool. I, had, I have to give credit to this term from, from a boss I had many years ago. Um, he's like, he said, everyone loves hot donuts. And you got to present your hot donuts first. And it's true. If, you, if I give you an option between hot donuts and day old donuts, what are you going to take? You're going to take a hot donut. Who doesn't love a hot oh. donut? It's fresh. It's tasty. It's it possible. smells great. It's everything's perfect. Um, I love hot donuts. And, and that's why I tell, tell my uh, mortgage advisors when, when I show them in the CRM, I go, um, they're focused here. I go, these are your hot donuts. These are the people you should, you, you want to contact immediately. These are the pre-qualified people that we're setting up for you that we're saying, this is why to call them and call them today. You know, we have a short time window on some of these people. Get on them today. And, you know, every, they still, you know, internally, I still get laughed at too for my hot donuts comment. But it's true. It's the best analogy I have. Hot donuts. Everyone loves them. Everybody wants them. And they go the quickest. And then the day old ones are still sitting there, you know. Um, and, but they're, and, that's, they're and to your point. To, to your point, this is this is very important. Talk about adoption. Well, hey, we're going to give you hot donuts if you use this, right? Yep. And so that's part of your adoption strategy. Yeah. And on screen, we have 600 alerts a week, which is like 600 hot donuts a week. You yep. want to talk to that for a second? Yeah. So if we have, you know, on, let's say we have 600 alerts in a week and we have uh, approximately 200 mortgage advisors, that averages out to about three mortgage advisors a week. And that's the thing I tell them. I said, look, you're going to come in today. And you may see only one mortgage inquiry. You may see three listing alerts. You may see this. You may see that. It's going to change on a daily basis. Give me 15 minutes a day. That's all I ask for. Yes. 15 minutes. While you're sitting there drinking your coffee, getting your day plan, give me 15 minutes and look at this list. Or your loan partner, look at this list and tell me 
that you can't call these people. Because I guarantee if you do make the phone calls, if you call everyone that pops up, every hot donut, if you eat every hot donut, I can guarantee you a minimum one, more likely three mortgages that you would not have gotten otherwise every month. Go to the next slide. This is, this is perfect. This is it. I love, I love this. everyone listening. What, I mean, look at, look at the mentality of success mortgage partners. This is, they're not asking their loan originators to go find three to four more loans. Look at this m- message here. This is so important to break down because everyone's like, yeah, of course. No, look at the messaging. Look at the value, the foundation of this organization. This is, we, I mean, I, I said yeah. it to you before, Alex, I feel bad. It, it's kind of maybe not the best analogy, but literally it's like searching for money in your own couch. That's yeah. what, that's what you all are doing for us. Um, but we're not pulling out pennies and nickels. We're pulling right. out, we're pulling out mortgages. Um, these are your people. They know you. You're, they're literally someone that you have done something wonderful for in the past. All you have to do is just reach out to them. 92% will say yes. I mean, <laughs> how, how hard is that? I mean, anytime if, you know, if, you know, Dale, you have a baseball background. If I said to you 92% of the time, you know, you're going to hit, you're going to get on base. You'd be in the majors every time. You know, like, there's no one that'll say, yeah, I don't want that 92% of the time. Oh, you know, that's an amazing stat. I mean, and that's what we're, we're, we're telling them like, and we're showing it. And that's, that's the bet. Like, I know um, there's someone internally, I said that to them. They're like, really, it, it, are, is this marketing or is this real? I said, it's real. They're like, come on. I go, no, honestly, trust me. That's all I'm saying. Just trust me. Um, one of our groups said 17% of their closed loan volume came from, um, Sales so boomerang. And I'm like, I rest my case. Mic drop. Like, 17%. What, what, what more do I need to do? What more? Like we, and it's not us. It's, trust me. We're, we're, we're great at marketing. We're not the marketing gurus. If we were, you know, we'd be getting hounded every day. What's your secret sauce? What, what's your secret sauce? Um, it's just, it's true. It's putting the right technology and the right message at the right time to the right customers. It's the simplest Simple. recipe ever. I mean, you, you can't, you can't get it any, any, any easier. Um, you know, Owens had faith in us, you know, said, this is what I want. Show me what you can do. Um, we're doing it. Um, it, it it's amazing. I mean, it's just amazing. It, it's, it's almost scary sometimes, you know, people, <laughs> oh, this is, this is so, so, you know, intricate. It's like, no, we have the right message at the right time to the right person. That's you know, that, that's, that's, that's sales 101. You know, um, and, and, you're, and you're doing it in such a it's so important that you've built a tech stack um, at, to support this. But the fact that you guys want to help your team get an extra three or four loans, each person on your team to get an extra three or four loans a month. That's the difference here. You're not asking them to find it. You're like, we're going to help you. Like, we're going to try yeah. and give them to you ourselves because yeah. we want to see you be successful. And so I, I, I absolutely love your message. I absolutely love how you do things. Um, I want to I want to kind of bring this to the to the uh, to the finish line here, land the plane and maybe have some time for some Q&A. If somebody has some questions for you guys or for us, um, I, I want to highlight uh, Dale real quick. Let's sli- go to the next slide real quick for a minute here. Everyone that's on the call, this is so this this is this is invaluable. Uh, the 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 type of expertise and value that Dale brings to your organization is is uh, really second to none. I'm going to let Owen and Brett kind of mention a little bit to it, but we wanted to throw this slide up here because this, especially where the industry is going you want power hitters you want people to believe in themselves have confidence in themselves and know why they're in this industry dale unlocks all of that within them owen brett can you add a little color to it well i could uh i could talk for an hour on um how awesome i think my relationship with dale is and and how much he's helped me um i've learned more about managing to metrics um <clears throat> from Dale and uh, pounding that rock every day than, you know, probably anybody I've ever met in my professional career. And uh, anytime you get a chance to do something with or, uh, you know, in some way connected to Dale, you ought to take advantage of it because you're going to come out a little bit better or a lot better for having done it. Um, you know, I could go on for an hour, but I know we only have seven minutes left, so I'll cut it off there. <laughs> but uh, I'm proud to call him my friend. Oh, I, I, I have to echo that. I mean, I've only known Dale for a few months now. Like 
six. Uh, and I know I'm a better leader today and a better man today, um, a better person, not only in work, but outside of work also because of just talking with him um, and learning from him. And, and, and also, you know, Owen's the same thing. I mean, they just make you better people by being around them. Um, and you learn so much. And it's, you know, it's like almost going, like going to a liberal arts college. Yes, you learn a lot in your major, but you learn a lot outside your major that's probably more applicable in life. And that's how those two are. Like you, you learn, yes, about the mortgage industry and you learn about this and that, but you learn about other things. It's just like, oh, wow, I can use that over here. And it just makes you a better person. And Dale, Dale's just a mate. I mean, being part of one of his you know, leadership studies is just awesome. Like, it's just mind blowing when you hear, hear what he says. And, you know, I'm blessed and lucky to, to, to have had this opportunity. And I'm very thankful for it. No, I'm That's, blushing. I love you all. <laughs> I really I knew, all. I love we you made him blush. blush. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's fantastic. Uh, I can't say say enough good things. I'll mention this one thing, and then we'll we'll sort of wrap it up and ask some questions. If you all have some, um, I will say this. Anytime I'm in in front of an organization that tells me, "Hey, uh, we just wish we can get a little bit more production out of our team," the very first suggestion is that. That's all I say. I'm like, just give them a chance, have a conversation. Um, so I just wanted to leave with that, and then um, you know. Going to the going to the last yes, you're circling champions. Yes, I see our AI is circling champions for some reason. <laughs> it's rare. It's a very unique AI we have here. <laughs> um, so scan that. Get your discount. Uh, talk to Dale. If nothing else, you learn something just from one conversation with him. And then of course, uh, next slide, um, guys. Look, if if retention, profitability, uh, or retention not just of your borrowers but also of your of your team and recruitment of of new talent is important. That's what Sales Boomerang is about. Uh, please schedule a conversation with us. I know we just posted something in chat. We'd love to talk to you. We do these things because we want to help. We have successful mortgage partners that are willing to share their success, willing to share their secrets, willing to share their process with you guys because we want to elevate the entire industry. Um, we are here to do the same thing. So if there's any interest at all in making sure that you're competitive in this coming market, uh, you want to be able to retain uh, your 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 team and recruit new new team members and retain your your database of customers, um, put millions or billions back into your into your pockets. Make sure you schedule a demo. Can't wait to talk to you guys. We have five minutes. Any last question? Any thoughts? Anyone want to uh, add anything before we wrap this up? Um, I'm, I'm looking at the at the at the chat to see if there's any questions. But uh, Brett, Owen, Dale, anything you want to add while we're waiting to see if anyone has a question? I, I would just let, say, let me, Dale, you go first. No, please, Owen, go ahead. All right, I'll go real quick. I, I would just say this. You need to adopt technology and you need to adopt technologies like Sales Boomerang. I strongly yep. believe in the next two to three years that we're going to become companies of haves and have nots. The easy refis are gone. Um, you're going to have to learn to hunt again. And yes. why not do so with this tool in your toolkit? I don't think mortgage advisors are going away. I don't think we're going to be, you know, the nope. the uh, the uh, travel agents of the, you know, 2020s. But some people are going to have success that aren't currently on our in our industry. And if you don't adopt technology, you're, you know, you're going to wake up three years from now working 25 percent harder to make 20 percent less money. Wow. Who wants to do that? The haves are going to make 25% less money with the same or less effort. So you've got to adopt technology and sales boomerangs at the top of that list. Go ahead, Dale. I agree with everything that, that Owen just said. And uh, let, let, let me add this, this point. Um, the low rates we've been through for the last uh, two years have really created in the marketplace and the mortgage industry, particularly with mortgage advisors, a very reactive sales mindset. And that is very dangerous when you go into a changing market. Alex said this earlier, the market's going to change. The NBA is already predicting a 62% drop in refis next year with a 9% increase in, in purchases. You can avoid all of that trouble if you use something like Sales Boomerang because Sales Boomerang has the proactive, predictive uh, ability to be able to put in front of your loan officers quality leads that have a real need and purpose. And and this is what I think is the strongest thing about this is, you know, in, in my over 1 million loan officers I've trained in my career, here's the one thing I've learned about loan officers. You know why they don't become more proactive and do more calling out to those clients is because they just don't know what to say. Well, sales boomerang gives them exactly what to say. It's here. Yep. Here's the positioning 
for this borrower. They are prime candidate for a cash out. Now that loan officer knows exactly what to say to activate that borrower. That's what's going to make them successful. So remember, loan officers are, are if you want to increase adoption in anything, loan officers are always motivated by two things, pain and pleasure. Pleasure is where you increase production. That does that. Pain is where you can miss out on production. Well, if you don't use technology, to Owen's point, you're going to miss out on the opportunity. So uh, I want to say in closing, I'm so honored to be with such incredible leaders as all of you today and honored to be part of this team. And, you know, every one of you who are watching, you ought to pick up the phone and call any one of these guys and chat with them because they can teach you a whole lot about, you know, what it can do to help get your business to really navigate this market we're going into. And, Thank and you so I much, Dale. I just want to add one more thing. I think the number one thing is, and, and Owen said it before, is you have to be flexible with your, your team. Yes. If, you, if yep. you're if you on the marketing side of this or the management side of this, don't shove it down their throats. Work with them. See what they're comfortable with. You know, uh, the, certain people are going to adopt at a certain rate. You know, everyone's in different categories. Work with them and then it'll work for them. But you have mm. to work with them and hear what they're comfortable with. If a mortgage advisor is not comfortable with certain things, don't do it because you're going to upset them yep. and you're going to lose them. Work with them, Good. listen to them, and adopt what they want at their speed. But be ready that. for it. Have it for them. I just Great quoted stuff. you in chat. I love that. Work with it. Thank them, you. and it will work for them. Oh it will. That is, that is so great. That is, a, that is a great one. Well, look, uh, Dale, you said it, but I, I'm just honored to be on this, on this uh, call with all of you and, and sharing this information with the industry. So uh, thank you all again. And thank you, everyone that stick, stuck around and continues to stick around. I mean, it's a, it's a pleasure. It's why we do this. It's why we take time out of our day to give back. This is just part of our giving back. And so we appreciate you uh, spending this time with us. And again, thank you all, um, Brett, Owen, and, and Dale, for, for doing this as well. Thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity. Thanks so much. Great thank technology. Hey, our pleasure. <laughs>